box, Davey Johnson reaches for serious medicine. Needed on days like these. I should have gone into golf. I'm David Roth, and I'm trying to keep it together. I'm sitting across from uh, Davey Johnson, who managed the 1986 Mets, the most important baseball team in my life. Uh, he's here promoting his book, uh, My Wild Ride in Baseball and Beyond. And uh, I'm going to, like I said, just try to keep the heart rate under 210 beats per minute <laughs> <laughs> to get everybody caught up. Uh, good career in the United States with uh, Baltimore and Atlanta. He went to Japan for two years, and then he came back and played in the majors again. Yes. So you talk a lot about how strange some of the training methods over there seem to you. Yes, yes, yes. And especially there's one involving just as somebody that doesn't like needles. There's a story about a medical treatment there. They had the shootos, and the shootos kept, uh, it's a fastball running in on you, and it kept jamming me so bad that I got inflamed in my, my, my the joint. Normally, uh, in, in the United States, they'd give you a cortisone shot in there. It's a Novocaine of cortisone. But I went to the Japanese doctor, and they were gonna stick a needle that long in my neck, and I said, uh-uh. <laughs> After the season, you hit 43 home runs. Yeah. Still ties the record for second baseman. Uh, I mean, it's more than any second baseman hit, but you hit one as a pinch hitter, so right. it's technically. They don't count that. But then you have this injury that is badly misdiagnosed for two years, and it's the sort of injury yeah. that when you hear about it now, it's subluxation, yeah, which right. is the muscle pulled right. off the bone. Yeah. Yeah. Two years you're playing with the shit. Yeah. You think back on not just your career, but other careers from that period when basically it was like long needles on one end and then yeah. just misdiagnosed injuries on the other. Like. Were there careers that you felt like should have been different if we knew then what we knew now? Oh, there's no question about it. I mean, you know, of course, I mean, nowadays they really, uh, they go overboard and protect guys with injuries. I mean, um, you could get a, a, you know, broken toe. I had a broken toe in 15 stitches and I, I was only out three weeks. They'd be out two months at least. But anyway, going back to the, this thing about, that, like the sublex, I mean, they did x-rays and x-rays wouldn't show a sublex, you know? It's uh, not a bone. The cure for when I got to Atlanta was I can't ever put my arm above my head and lean against the door and push as hard as I can just to build that outside up. And and your isometrics you did around yeah. your house? I, I mean, I did it at, at the walls, in my car, did it all the time. I mean, I was a maniac. Back then, you, you wanted to play even if you had an injury. I mean, you just kind of not run as hard. Uh, you tape your ankles if you get a sprain or something. Uh, you know, it, it, it was kind of like you didn't want to give anybody a chance to, to take your job, number one, and two, you didn't think anybody was better than you. So you played her. 